Welcome to this demonstration of Fabric Performance Impact Notification and IBM AIX Multipath I.O. Let's go straight into the demonstration and take a look at our environment. We have an AIX server connected to Fabric A and Fabric B on respectively port 8 in Fabric A and port 25 in Fabric B. On the AIX server we have an application running serialized I.O to the AIBM XIV across the two paths. The problem is that on Fabric A we have a link impairment which basically means that we have intermittent CRC errors on that link. And because the I.O is serialized, the application is waiting on the I.O on the impaired path to complete. Since it fails, it is retried by the storage protocol and then it fails again. As a result, the application I.O basically halts meaning the application cannot complete any storage I.O. and therefore is no longer responding to the end user. Because the MPIO layer does not know that the path is bad, since it appears OK for health checks, as we can see here in the top left corner, the MPIO driver status says that the impaired path is still available and optimal. Even though storage I.O. cannot really complete across the path in Fabrigate, and because the I.O. is serialized from the host application perspective, even though the path in Fabric B is completely healthy, there is no traffic running. Now let's go into SandNav and take a look to see what's happening. We see here that the traffic is running at first. And then once we hit the impairment that we really have no I.O. that completes, there are a couple of attempts to send data, or uh, these could also be health checks. But as a result, there's no traffic running on the path in Fabric A. And if we look at the path in Fabric B, we also see here that there's no traffic running on the path in Fabric B. So we go in and do zoom and fetch to display the details for port 25 in Fabric B. So obviously, this is a big problem for the application. Now let's explore how this would be different with FPIN enabled. In order to do that, we go in and enable FPIN on all switches in both fabrics. It is basically a maps action, which we enable. Now we go back and we've started the application again. Let's just take a look here in the CLI, and you can see we have a new command for fpin called fabric notification, which displays who has subscribed to get notifications. We see port 8 in fabric A and port 25 in fabric B, which is our AIX host, plus some other devices in fabric B. Now that we have validated that our host is subscribing to fpin, let's continue and see what happens when we have the impairment again in fabric A. I just started a timer here so we can play the recording a little bit faster than real time. We see here we hit the impairment and at this point in time there is no I.O. that completes. We are basically waiting for the SCSI timeout to expire which is around 30 seconds. And then we can see that after the timeout is expired, traffic now resumes on Fabric B. If you notice over in the top left corner where we display the MPIO path status, the path in Fabric A, it now says that it's PDG, which basically means that the path is degraded, and therefore the AIX MPIO driver will no longer place any traffic on that path. When displaying the Fabric notifications on the switch, we see that there were notifications sent And in this point in time, when we queried, there was a total of 12 uh, link integrity F pins sent to our AIX host connected on port 8 in Fabric A. Going back into SandNav, let's take a look at the traffic on the two ports again. First, we take a look at port 8 in Fabric A. And we can see that we hit the impairment 
And then after that, there's no more traffic sent on that path because the MPIO layer is notified with FPIN link integrity notifications and understands that the path in Fabric A is no longer healthy. Whereas if we look at the path in Fabric B, we can see the initial hit of the SCSI timeout and then after that traffic resumes. And actually more IO is placed on that path than before since the other path is no longer taken into account by the MPIO layer for balancing. As a result, the problem is mitigated with the support of FPIN by the OS MPIO layer and the brocade sand fabric. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching. For more information, please go to broadcom.com. Thank you.